Hey, what's going on? This is Reed, AKA a car number chef. And I, I just got back from the grocery store and I've noticed that people like to see grocery hauls for the carnivore diet for whatever reason. So, um, I just, I'll just go through what I get. This is what I'm about to show you is what I get pretty much every week. Um, especially since doing a cutting plan and yeah, we'll, uh, give you, I'll give you a little quick breakdown of what I got and total and how many calories I ate in a day to make it a little bit easier for you to kind of estimate what it's going to look like if you're going to do this too. Okay. To start, I get a few bottles of this because I quit drinking soda about a year ago and this helps me, you know, just have something a little different and it's got calcium in it and all that. I really, I really just do it because I like the flavor and it keeps me from craving sodas. So, you know, that's what it is. Next is purely convenience coffee. This is a concentrated cold brew and it's, you know, I think it's a two to one ratio, but I typically do a one to one. And uh, yeah, this, uh, the coffee's up to you. This is gonna be about the same price as a bag of coffee. Um, this lasts me about a week, typically because I have other places I can get coffee, like work, or I'll get gas station coffee from time to time if I really want it. And yeah, that's uh, that's the liquid. Oh, and yeah, I also get a, oh no, it's dark. I also get a five gallon jug of water, which lasts me typically four to seven days at the most. Uh, just depends on how much I don't work, so get that too. Next up, I get some butter of some sort. I usually, I usually get something like this or you know whatever's available but ever since starting this cutting diet i haven't needed too much butter or really wanted it because it takes up a lot of calories where i could be filling in protein eggs i was getting a lot of eggs at the beginning but i found that eating too many eggs just doesn't they don't make me feel too great but uh sometimes i'll want things like you know scrambled eggs you know, or you know mix like ground up some eggs with ground beef and make pancakes, you know. I don't keep too many of these on hand, but when I do get them, I always get the best quality I can get, which for me is this Nelly's Free Range brand. Up next is ground beef. For the beef, I'm typically not too picky, as you'll see here. Uh, the This is four pounds. This is Whenever I get ground beef, I like to get even amounts because if I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna eat the whole thing because this cooks down to about 12 ounces and that's about one of my meals. So this is almost a full meal for me. I'll eat this whole thing and maybe some butter or an egg yolk or you know just something like that with it. And this makes it really easy, just this one pound little form factor. And I know a lot of people don't like the plastic packaging, but I'm not a hunter, I wish I was, or you know, otherwise you'd, be see, you'd see me be eating a lot more game meat. Uh, luckily I have friends that hunt so it makes it a little bit easier and I can get some game meat from time to time but you know, this is what I do for just ground beef and I know it's grass-fed beef but like I said I'm not too worried whether or not it's grass-fed beef or not because I'm on a budget. Next up is I get sirloin because it is cost effective and it tastes good. It's really easy to cook too. All I do is I cut the fat off and then cut these into cubes and I will start sauteing the fat so I can get some oil in the pan first then I will throw my cubed steak in there and saute one side until it's good and caramelized, toss it once, and then I pull it. It's pretty raw in the middle, so yeah, this is, I mean, how much weight is this? One, it's probably about four pounds of sirloin right here in four packages. Um, and then I also get chuck roast just to break up the monotony of this because this is very fatty, it's rich. Uh, you get a good broth whenever you're done cooking it and it's it changes up things very nicely in the middle of the week if i get overwhelmed by just you know having too much of this i can always go to this just put one on in the morning and by the time my first meal hits it's done you know so yeah that's uh that's a nice and easy one right there and then finally i get bacon this is three pounds typically they have a two and a half pound packaging they didn't have that today for whatever reason, so I got three pounds. The two and a half pounds will actually last me all week and sometimes even into the next week because I'll eat four to six strips of bacon for a meal and you know, that that's my day. Like I don't really eat too much bacon other than that and I don't even eat it every single day, but it's just really nice to have it. It keeps it easy and it tastes really good. This is my favorite brand and it's relatively cheap where I live. But anyways, that's everything. This whole thing, including the water behind me, was $127. The place where I get like the sirloins and this bacon is a cost plus store, so it's cost plus 10%, which is 
which is really nice because as you see, this is $9.18, so that'd be 90, 92 cents added. So that'd be about $10 plus uh, sales tax. So it's about, this is about $11 truck roast. Um, and it's, you know, it's really good for the, the price, you know, cause you see all this marbling, like that's not, this is fat, that's fat marbling. This isn't just a bunch of gristle and, and hard to eat things. And it's four seventy one dollars a pound. I can't, you know, I can't complain about that. It's really good. That is it. Just wanted to give that little quick overview of what you could potentially get on this diet. It's enough variety for me and it keeps me from having to think too hard about what I'm going to eat. Like I'm probably about to eat one of these right now because I'm hungry. So yeah, that's it. If you like this video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing and I will see y'all in the next one.